name is Danny. I am a choreographer based out in the Bay Area. Um, I am also an Oos mentor. So I teach beginning hip hop Fridays at 7.30, give or take. So 2017 has been an interesting, interesting year in that um, I've learned a lot um, in many ways in terms of how to structure my life um, financially and just in general. Um, in terms of dance, I had certain resolutions such as wanting to collaborate with other artists and other choreographers. Um, and I would say not as much as I had thought I would, but I definitely made my way to collaborate with certain like friends that I have, whether it be through um, creating a piece, I've created a couple pieces, um, whether it be creating a whole production, I've created one production, um, like a small production put on stage. And um, just collaborating in, you know, like living in a new space with other people and having to put down rules and boundaries and things like that. So I've learned a lot about structure this year um, and working with others and building like the right kind of relationships and um, boundaries, um, communicating boundaries. Mm, so things that I want to take with me that I've learned in 2017 is definitely like when I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. If I put it down in my planner, don't just like cross it off or brush it off, like actually do it. Um, so that when, you know, I have a project in mind, like putting down pre pre preparation, time for preparation for that certain project, um, being able to do that um, and staying prepared in terms of um, projects, collaborations and things like that, making that process easier. Um, so again, structure. Um, Something that I want to pursue in 2018 is um, a relationship with technology, a better relationship with technology. Um, and what I mean by that is if, you know, my resolution 2017 was to collaborate with um, choreographers and artists, um, 2018 would be collaborating with like the camera. I'm not one to necessarily put out content, um, but I think uh, after learning about structure and things like that and how I should prepare, I think I'm ready to, to be in front of a camera, be in front of um, um, an audience with cameras, um, record and archive my work. Because in dance, it's like, it's such a timely art in the realm of art. Like you see a performance or you see a piece and in that time, you it's never going to be the same. Whether you perform it once, twice, three times, it's never going to be the same. Um, so just like filming and immortalizing a piece through videography, cinematography, and archiving that artistry is, is super important. And other people are doing it now, and I think I'm ready to do that as well. Ooh, do, I love being an Oost mentor. It's like, I've been coming to this Monday night workshop since, I mean it opened in 2010, but I wasn't in the scene until 2011, 2012 is when I took my first Monday night workshop, 2012. Um, and was it, it was not in this particular studio, but you know, I've been following the studio for a long time and I've been in the community for a while and seeing it grow and seeing it you know, flourish, bringing new dancers and bringing new choreographers and people who just want to learn um, dance in general. It's interesting to see, like, I'm actually loving the growth and the evolution of it. Um, being a mentor in particular, it's weird being a teacher now because the people of the community are looking up to you to pass down knowledge. They're looking up to you to articulate how to do a certain move or like wanting advice on how to get better or like what should I do for this, how do I freestyle, what kind of music should I listen to to choreograph to and it's a responsibility I feel like 
it could be a lot, but it's also really fun because I find I'm getting to know myself more. I'm like, don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna give them like half-ass stuff. Can I say that? <laughs> um, I don't want to, you know, I don't wanna lie to my students and I want everything that I do to be from the heart and what I think works for me. So I like sharing in general and like evolving the community in my own personal way. I love being a mentor. Yeah, um, the way, one thing that is always in my class is some sort of element of freestyle. Whether that be, you know, just breaking you into freestyle, doing a couple eight counts of freestyle, or even like four counts of freestyle, there will be some sort of freestyle in there. Um, and I know in the community we're um, very much on the learning choreography side, and so in my eyes there's a balance of learning choreography and learning your own style, which is your freestyle, um, and getting comfortable with your style so that you can be comfortable doing other people's style. Um, I mean, it's not about me, it's not about looking like me, it's about, you know, becoming your own person when you dance. So. You can expect some freestyle, but you can also expect some learning how to groove if you're a beginner, learning how to do footwork, learning certain vocabulary. Basically, if you take my beginner's class, I'm prepping you to take intermediate classes, advanced classes, and Monday night workshop master classes. So come to my class so you know like what a ronde jam is, or what a dead stop is, or how to freestyle when the choreographer asks you to freestyle. Just like little things that I've learned being in this community that like I know what it's like to be a beginner and being in a big class, it's very intimidating. So I get where they come from. I love teaching beginners too, so it's refreshing. Um, learning from our community, like learning from the Bay Area choreographers, like we're growing our own community but having choreographers come from the industry or LA like it's a refreshing experience because they train differently than the way we train they have a different environment so they're bringing that element into our space and and we get to learn from that it's a contrast so you'll see you'll see them the way they teach will be different the way they explain movement will be different and you may resonate with it and you may not resonate with it, but if it, was, if it is anything, you, it will definitely be new. It will definitely enrich what you already know. It will enrich your dancing. And um, these choreographers, I mean, they've been around for a while. I mean, Jilly Myers has been around, like she's danced with Janet Jackson, like she's just been everywhere. So. I personally would want to learn from her again. I've taken one class from her before and I mean, if you know anything about Jean Kelly, like she loves to embody Jean Kelly and Jean Kelly brought um, like dance, modern dance into like Broadway and like theater. And just the way she is and the way she's animated in front of a camera, like um, it's just so different. Like. It's, it's nothing that you see around here. I mean, you can get glimpses of it, but Jilly is like, is Jilly. Jilly, Jillian Myers is like, she's like, oh. Like learning from her was amazing. I've learned from her like 2013, I believe. Carl Durang, I've learned from him, I think also 2013 in a different workshop. Um, he's the one that actually started off um, first workshop I've ever learned with freestyling in the beginning. First first, um, first time ever freestyling, I was like, I thought we're gonna learn a piece. And then, but like it really broke me in and like, oh shoot, these people are freestyling. Like this is such a different element to dancing, right? Um, and Amanda Grine, like she she's my favorite out of the three. And the way she, the way she, listens to music is something that I resonate a lot with. Um, not to say she's going to teach to like R&B song, but it's, it's highly likely that she, she might, um, but who knows? She can also always bring something different. But the way she listens to music, it's like, 
like I'm even like getting like I don't even know how to explain it but like it's just in her body and the way she moves to music it reminds me of how I grew up with music and like listening to music and like I didn't even know what choreography was but I'm like grooving to it that's how that's how she she's taught me before I've learned from her Monday night workshop here um, and like she reminded me what a groove was and like how to how to um, feel the music Cause sometimes we can get so stuck into like gesture 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 that we forget like the funk of it um, but these choreographers they are amazing they're phenomenal like they will just enrich your 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 dancing like a hundredfold like it's gonna be refreshing it's gonna be it's gonna be one of a kind. Like you're never gonna have that experience ever again. Like we said with dancing, like it's in that moment, it's never gonna be the same. It might not be the same choreographers next time. Even if it is the same choreographers, you're never gonna get that experience again. And I trust those three like 100% to, to give us whatever, whatever they decide to give us on that day is is going to be it's going to be amazing but yes thank you 2017 for being a difficult year for me if it wasn't a difficult year for me i wouldn't have grown as much as i did and learned the lessons that i learned um to 2018 hey girl no <laughs> um to 2018 i can't wait to expand my vocabulary I can't wait to network with a whole bunch of people I can't wait to um, share my craft